he did a whole confession. Did he take the blame for his murder too? Oh shit. Oh man, you can't let this loose cannon out there in the world. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy, you done did it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me, it's like a solar eclipse. Uh -uh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon. I'm some coolest at African Geek. Welcome to my channel. I can't believe this is actually happening. I'm watching <laughs> like eight hours, nine hours of television in one sitting. And I'm going to have to edit all of this in the coming day to a week. <laughs> uh, but I'm really enjoying the season. It keeps ending with cliffhangers. Now all the relationship are in jeopardy. Sarah saw her dad die. Uh, John B didn't comfort her. Hope and Kara, whatever that is. I, I've given up on that relationship. Just took one episode for her making fun of him. Wanting more than... <laughs> than what she's willing to give after breaking his heart and expecting him to man up. Oh, man. I guess I should have called it when she called him boring in front of his face in the earlier episodes <laughs> that this is not going to go anywhere. But I want everybody to be happy, like even her. Her family situation is hella messed up. And I thought maybe she's ending it because she needs a friend more than a boyfriend. But the whole making fun of him loving you situation just threw me off that whole situation. I never want them together anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? JJ, I do need to go also. But so much stuff is happening right now. Parents dying. Parents self-deleting. Uh, couples breaking up treasure hunts discovering that you royal you know what i'm saying guess maybe next season jj let's <laughs> dive right into the seventh episode right left a video message why is that dude out of prison dude he killed john b's dad he did a whole confession. Did he take the blame for his murder too? Oh shit. Oh man, you can't let this loose cannon out there in the world. He did take the easy way out, but I don't believe he's dead. Why is Sarah with her family now? I understand a little sister, but a brother? Oh, is it just to hear this message? Don't tell me they're starting up this thing that was in the first episode. What did he think she'll listen? Dude, you tried to drown her. You tried to kill me. Okay? This dude got issues, bro. Why is she staying? Dad's gone. And now it's just, it's Why people? <laughs> Why is Sarah listening to this nigga? I can never trust her judgment ever again in life. As long as the show exists. <laughs> I don't care, we family, you try to kill me, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> Are they still rocky? She's ducking him. The breakup, nobody saw coming. Hmm. The girls of the show breaking hearts. She's not talking to him, but she expects him to read her mind. <laughs> what are they trading, kids? Love is never... Enough. Let me guess, she gonna be dating top of the next episode. <laughs> the show legit spend five episodes building relationships, then two be like, ah, we change our mind. No way she went to top her. <laughs> She's been staying here. What is this show doing? They're doing that formula that people say audience members tend to lose interest in shows when they dream couples finally get together. So they keep doing that will they, won't they thing. For me personally, it doesn't matter. As long as the story is good. I can't 
fault topper for using this opportunity. I want to put this out there. John B, Sarah was dead. <laughs> you brought her back for her to do you like this. <laughs> Sad boy Salmo. <laughs> don't have hope. I don't think she's going to come around this season. Move on, guys. <laughs> This woman still hasn't shown me why the kids are scared of her, why I should feel like a threat is coming for her. Is she gonna clean the house or something? They were sexist of me. <laughs> so they could just act in like he was in the murder two episodes ago. Ooh, it's already picking up honeys. Dude, come and clutch with the breakfast. <laughs> Is he helping them out with the whole key situation? Am I just wrong? But it does feel like a new show, like season one, early days. It went down with the ship. So many new faces. They're gonna be hunting down children. Okay, now they are a threat. <laughs> when he was one man, now he's got reinforcements. Yeah, your dad is with the... Your dad legit dished with the gold. So the dad didn't leave, and leave them shit? Dude is panicking. Punching walls. Storming off. That's the man at the house for you. <laughs> Did she even go to school? They're getting drunk again. Oh, girl is thirsty for the... I wonder what his reputation is now. Oh my god, they're gonna see each other with other people. It's not gonna be normal at all. Why is she jealous? You dumb too? She's gonna go hard now. They're gonna be full teenagers in this episode. Damn, John P's being a good boy. This girl's really thirsty for him. Yo, now he's trash talking him. Oh man, Topper. What's his, is, is his name Topper? <laughs> It's just such a weird name. Yeah, we do. They feel things. You should have a good time Did he just and suggest that having money makes you feel different than people who don't have money? I guess kinda. You have more freedom to feel things. Oh shit. Oh he gonna be mad mad. Is dude gonna shoot his shot? The timing, dog. It's those miscommunication type of episodes. John B was like, fuck it. <laughs> oh, look at her acting jealous. Why is she confronting him? Ooh. Are oh, they fighting again? Sarah, you started this. Damn. Now Sarah's just watching it happen. It's like this show hit a reset button. Like all the treasure murder shit that it happened, we back to the high school shit. Come on, man. Sarah playing victim? <laughs> oh, they're getting hunted by those motherfuckers who want the key. So now we back to the murder stuff. Oh, it's this dude. Look, I, uh, this the hunt begins. God damn. This is the only time he's genuinely been scary, in my opinion. The other times he was just the dude. 
I also would leave. Fuck this murder mystery shit. <laughs> Dude's still doing drugs. Dude started the episode trying to make amends. End of the episode, he's himself again. Like, tone-wise, this episode is all over the place. It's still a good episode, though. But he doesn't know what tone is trying to be. Now he thinks she's playing some long con. What happened to keep the family together? Why is she taunting him? No reasonable human being will taunt a person with a knife in front of him. Who's knocking? It's probably dad coming back from the dead. Or sister. Forgiving... Almost killed me brother. You must be right. Oh, it's her. Like the iron room is inside his house? Is he though? Is he a great guy though? Not too bad, right? Louise killed her whole family. That would be such a mic drop moment. Well, Louise is the stepmother, right? <laughs> Louise is the little sister. Man, my brain right now. Damn, there's a whole map in her house. She's smiling. Is this how she joins the group again? First of all, how you gonna smile finding your house vandalized and your sister missing? <laughs> like totally, this episode is all over the place. I feel like Episode 5, they rolled themselves in, into a corner. Then episode 6 and 7, they've been trying to get themselves out of the corner. And they using the plot more than the characters. So the characters are acting out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like, still a good show. I'm still invested. But the past two episodes have been like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why would you smile when you find your house vandalized and your sister's missing? Because you found a treasure? <laughs> I know it's supposed to be like a choice and to be like, yo, what did she see? But everything else still happening around her still, <laughs> still present too. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, it was, this episode needed to find a balance and it couldn't hit the landing it even had an even worse episode this face alone for the episode ending oh anyway let me not say something i might regret but this is not the best episode they did they had five phenomenal episodes then now they're decreasing i hope it picks up again you know what i'm saying